Hello darling hearts, it's Gab's Coach Emma here, Timeless Cookery. I thought I'd jump on and, uh, well, you know, whatever your symptoms are, right, you're either toxic or deficient. It's as simple as that. So if you've got any kind of symptoms, be that a headache or achy joints or whatever they are, right, you're either toxic or deficient. So what we need to do is try and avoid toxicity, yeah, obviously. And um, otherwise we get, we're like a bucket and we just top up with toxins slowly but surely, tiny bits at a time, the pesticides, the herbicides, the pharmaceuticals, the airborne pollutants, the, you name it, it's a toxic world, right? So if you don't work every day on getting rid of the toxins, right, they just start to build up and then you get symptoms. So, you know, everyone's thinking, well, I'm going to take the healthy option. I'm going to do the healthy thing. I'm going to have a nice herbal tea. So I found this box. I've been away. And then I came back to the UK and found this box in the cupboard at my house. And I'm like, oh my God, let me read the ingredients. You've always got to read the ingredients, right? So this this is a box of, I'm not going to show the whoever it is, but it's like a fruity tea. And um, I was just chopping up the cardboard for something. But, um, you know, cranberry and raspberry, mango and strawberry, blackcurrant, blueberry, St. Clements, yummy. You know, it says on the inside, it says bright colours, sweet scents, breathe in and allow the fruity aroma to transport you to a summer weekend. It's like, OK, that sounds nice. Let me have one of these. What's it got in it? It's got hibiscus, lovely, apple pieces, OK, rose hips, they're very high in vitamin C, uh, natural cranberry and raspberry flavouring. Now, with other natural flavorings that's 10 percent of the tea bag 10 percent of the tea bag is natural flavorings now natural flavorings right come from something natural but then they go through a whole heap of processes they heat it they squeeze it they squoze it they put solvents in it they extract this and then mix it with that and like they're allowed to call it natural flavorings after all of those processes right but basically they create something that your body doesn't recognize your body doesn't know what the hell that is it's not natural at all it's gone through far too many industrial processes now i know we do a lot of processing in gaps we like we cook some we cook the meat in the water then we you know cook another dish with that meat and then we make pate and add that as an ingredient and you know that's a lot of processing i know but at least you can see what's in it before your very eyes but when you've got something like me right you don't want that much extra toxins in your system when it says natural flavorings watch out it doesn't mean it's natural. <laughs> They've, they, the, the regulators have um, made it very easy for the corporations to use whatever they like. And they are loose with their terminology. And we need to learn to speak their language. And uh, if you don't, you just get topped up with toxins. But if you do have symptoms and you are topped up with toxins, don't worry. Just get plenty of animal foods into you. <laughs> That's not going to be music to a vegetarian's ears. But I've just gone pretty much carnivore for a little while because I've got a tooth abscess. And I'm like, OK, let's see what we can do by just having animal foods. I'm just having eggs and chicken livers and steak and um, cream cheese and omelettes and scrambled eggs and uh, kefir smoothies. And I mean, it's actually quite varied and I'm really enjoying it. So uh, if you want to know more about how to rebalance yourself to get rid of things like tooth abscesses that's a pretty intense uh, symptom there for you that I'm not suffering with even slightly it, it doesn't hurt it's just I've got apparently my the dentist told me I've got a tooth that died it's like okay I've got a tooth that died it doesn't seem to be bothering me he's like no but you've got to have it t t taken out it's like okay maybe at the moment I'm feeling pretty good so let me see what I can do by taking all plant foods out of my diet just for a little while just for an exercise you know there's lots of people doing it and getting amazing results it's quite interesting so yeah watch out for uh, plant toxins uh, plant toxins watch out for artificial uh, toxins in things that you think might be healthy like in a nice herbal tea you think oh I'm have a herbal tea that's healthy um, read the labels and if it says natural flavorings mm -mm, don't trust them it's not for real, I promise, honestly. Also, orange peel. Orange peel's really high in oxalates. You don't really want that down you. Anyway, my darling hearts, see me at timelesscookery.com if you need help with your digestion or any other symptoms. Even migraines are probably gut related because we don't realize it, but we've been told, take your five a day, get your veg down you. Um, and some of the veg are very high in oxalates. The nightshade family, some people struggle with tomatoes, potatoes and um lectins again um that they they are a, a protein that binds to stuff on the inside and uh, gluten is a lectin actually so plant toxins are 
really hazardous and the only really safe foods are animal products. Believe me when I tell you that. It's, I mean, it's blown me away what I've found out the last couple of months, honestly. See me at timelesscookery.com if you need help with any of your symptoms, darling hearts. And I've got an online cookery school and it's really groovy and we've got a lovely little group and we just support each other. Finding out the truth, finding out how to decipher things that are written on labels and um, find the safe pathway through the minefield that is our food system. All right, my darling hearts. See you later. Bye.